Welcome everybody, this is Minecraft Urban Protection, also known as the Self-Defense Guy, and today I'm going to show you some tactics that will save your life in Minecraft. So you must be wondering, what makes me qualified to give you this information that puts your life on the line? Well, you see this calm on my on my head? Yeah, yeah, yeah that, that's what makes me qualified. So without further ado, let me show you some tactics that will save you from dying in Minecraft. The first mob that you may encounter in Minecraft is a creeper. As you can see, I'm in danger from all the way here. I'm already in harm's way, so I might as well get closer. So what you're gonna wanna do is get closer and closer to the creeper, and you're going to disarm him. This is how you're going to disarm him. The way you disarm him is getting up close and you let it blow. Um, we cut out the footage because, uh, because of some technical difficulties, but you guys can find out on your own how that can save your life in Minecraft. Now the next mob is known as the Enderman. As you can see, this mother is known for stealing blocks. So what you're gonna wanna do here is confront him and just look him straight into his eyes, like a Chad. Uh, he may come at you very fast for some reason, but like uh, you should, you know, you know, it's self-defense. Like you, you just gotta, you gotta do something about it. You guys want to know what's worse than a bitch? A witch. This mob is known for dealing with narcotics. So what you're gonna do is act like ice at his front door, and just knock and open it, and be like, "Hey, give me some coke." As you can see, I got my line of coke, so that's all you gotta do for self-defense and then have a merry day. The next mob is a skeleton, which is very famously known for creating some hostage-like scenarios. As you can see, as he has his bow literally aiming it straight at me. So what you wanna do is disarm him. That is right, you're gonna back up and hope he doesn't shoot you. As you can see, it is going according to plan. And if he acts like an NPC, you should be able to disarm him. So just back up a little, a little, turn around, and just punch the shit out of him. As you can see, this is the ideal scenario as he is still acting like an NPC and an absolute dumbass. This is definitely a realistic situation, and that tip should save your life every single time a skeleton puts you in a hostage scenario. You're welcome. Now the next scenario I'm gonna show you that will save your life is running away from a zombie. As you can see, this zombie is very hostile, and there's a village right here, luckily. I don't know why. I had some dream luck and somehow spawned right beside a village as the zombie is chasing me. So what you're gonna wanna do is just run straight through. Just straight through the village, as, long, as far as you can. Just keep running, just a little more. Just get to the, the outside borders of the village, and you are in safety. Price to pay with doing this tactic is the whole village will probably get taken over by mobs and burnt to the ground, as you can see. But hey, all that matters is that you lived. Who gives a f about these villagers? I mean, they were probably gonna scam you, what, 20 emeralds for a piece of rotten flesh? Who got the better end of the stick? That's right, you did, because you followed this tactic. Sometimes man's best friend in this game can turn into an enemy. No, I'm not talking about a wolf, I'm talking about the iron golem. These golems are known for saving lives, villagers' lives, even some sometimes yourself, but sometimes they can turn into a foe. So what you're gonna wanna do after you uh, accidentally punch him is you're gonna build two blocks up, not three, two. So I'm gonna build up two blocks, not three, and you're gonna see why. As you can see, I'm, I'm in safety, perfectly fine and safe. This tack, uh, the footage cut out there, but you guys can find out your, for yourselves that yes, you will be saved if you build two blocks up, not three. And this will save your life every single time. Now the next specimen is the baby zombie. And well, I'm just gonna keep it simple with you. Your best tactic is probably just letting it kill you. This is the most dangerous mob in the game and you know, there's just no hope. So your best survival tactic is just letting it kill you and just just lose everything, you know? It's, it's just, yeah. So that has been Minecraft Urban Protection. These tactics will save your life in game. Comment down below when it did save your life because come on, you gotta thank me. I'm saving you levels here. Anyways, once again, if you're asking me what makes me qualified it's because I have this headpiece, this comm, and uh, uh, a fake badge that's on, no, a, a real badge that's under my suit. So if any of these tips help, Please like and subscribe, comment down below, and I'll see you guys next time. See ya.